So, mayang gabi ka natong tanan mga kaigsunan ko diha ni Kristo. Bisan pa kanimo higala ni ning imong pag-uban kanamo ni ning pagtuon diha sa iyang mga pulong nga natas diha sa study of the doctrine of God, the tri personality of God. Nga di nato makit-an diha sa Biblia ang pagpadayag sa iyang kagalingon sa Dios nga diin ang Dios usara apan diha sa iyang persona ang Dios nagalungta diha sa iyang at uh, tulo ka persona ingon nga Dios amahan anak ug Dios nga espiritu and the bible is very clear that there is only one god and yet nag-exist diha sa tulo ka persona mo na nga importante kayo nga masabta nato ni nga pagtuon sa iyang mga pulong as what god declared or revealed himself to us in the scriptures ug sa atong pagtuon diha sa systematic theology Ato nang gidil ang the doctrine of God and in our study of the doctrine of God we have been considering the nature of God unsa ang Dios diha sa iyang pagkasama or what God is like and now we will we will turn to another important aspect mocking the nature of God and we will focus nini nga study nini nga kagabiuna mocking the tri personality of God or simply the Trinity. So in dealing with this subject, we will do so under three headings. Mawani atong tanahon karon sa pagtuon sa pulong sa gino. Number one is the biblical concept of the tri-personality of God. And number two is the biblical proof of the tri-personality of God. And number three is the practical relevance of the tri-personality of God of God. And why it is so important for us Christians to study these truths. Tungod kay adunay mga tao ngang ilang pagtuo ra gyud sa Dios, ang Dios usara, ang Dios nga amahan, anak ug ang espiritu nagpadayag sa iyang kagalingon diha sa uh, tulo ka pagpadayag apan alang kanila ang Dios naglungtad ra gyud diha sa pagkausa Ang Dios amahan, siya pod ang Dios anak, ang Dios anak siya pod ang Dios nga espiritu. Mo na tan-awon gyud nato sa Biblia unsa magigisulti sa Dios diha sa iyang kagalingon sa iyang pagka siya. So first, nga atong ideal is the biblical concept of the tri personality of God. Nga atong makita nga ang word nga Trinity is not found in the Bible. Kundili, it is a word coined by theologians in the early church as a convenient verbal handle in order to express a truth that is clearly taught in the Bible about God's being. And what is this truth taught in the Bible? Ang sabi nga kamaturan nga gitudlo diya si Biblia. Number one, that there is only one true and living God. Nalamay usaka tinuod og buhi nga Dios one supreme being and yet this one and only god has a plurality of persons unsa man ni god the father god the son and god the holy spirit the father the son and the holy spirit the father is god the supreme being the son is god the supreme being the holy spirit is god the supreme being however the father is not the son and the son is not the father the father is not the holy spirit nor is the holy spirit is the father and the son is not the father the father is not the holy spirit nor is the holy spirit is the father and the son is not the holy spirit nor is the holy spirit is the son but they are distinct persons and yet there are not three gods or three supreme beings there is only one for the one is three and the three are one mo nang akini nga mystery of god's being the doctrine of the trinity makita gyud diha sa biblia kay daghang kayo mga tawo nga naglibog niini nga ang inyong dios usa nya si jesus dios Ang Holy Spirit, Dios, ugang amahan Dios, pila na ka Dios, tulo na ka Dios. Pero diha sa Biblia, 
we will embrace the teaching of God in the scriptures rather than embrace the teachings of men that contradicts to what God says or revealed himself in the scriptures. Mona adunay mga biblical proof nga tong tanawon diya sa Biblia, the biblical proof of the tri personality of God. The proof that there is only one supreme being that there is one supreme being is clearly taught in the Bible. Labi na dito sa Old Testament, ubisan pa, diha sa New Testament. And if we will go sa Old Testament, we can find that diha sa Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. So before nato ni basahon mga kaigsunan, let us ask the Lord uh, in prayer, may tagtabang sa gino, diya sa mga pag-ampu, aron ta magiyahan, pinagi sa balaan ng Espiritu. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, our gracious God, ginong Dios ikaw mong ipasalamatan ni nga mga orasa nga imong ihatag ka namo. It is a great privilege to study your word and even to study, gino, sa imong pagkaikaw, hilabi na diha sa imong uh, person persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Ako mga pag-ampu gino, nga imo kaming tabangan, nga mailhan ka namo diha sa mga pulong. Aron kami dili madala sa mga pagtulunan sa uban nga mga tao nga nag-angkon nga mga Kristohanon. Bisang pa sa mga tao gino, nga nag-angkon nga sila ang insakto nga relihiyon pandi yun makita sa ilang kinabuhi kay kini wakman na Haom diha sa mga pulong. Bisang pang ilang pamatasan, gino, nagkontradik yun diha sa ilang gi profess Ingon nga mga tao, nga mga niluwas sa ilang Diyos. Busa tabangin mo kami nga sa among pagtunin, mailhan ka na mo ang among kinabuhi, makumpurma yun diha kang Kristo. Bisang pa diha sa Diyos nga balaan, nga ma may nagtawag ka na mo, nining kalibutan na, nga puno sa kangit-ngit, puno sa mga Uh, sayup ng mga pagtulunan, bisan pa, puno diha sa sala. Muna ang mga pag-ampo ngayon mo kaming tabangan ng pinagi sa tabang sa imong balaan ng espiritu, imong ablihan ang among kaisipan, ang among hunahuna, ang among kasing-kasing ng mahimong magmadinawaton sa imong mga pulog o makaila diha kanimo pinagi sa imong anak nga si Ginoong Heso Kristo. Muna nga, ubanin mo kami karon o tabangin mo kami nga sa among pag Toon ni ni Gino, makita na mo ang imong himaya. Huwag kami Gino, makaila deha kanimo. Bisan pa sa mga katawhan, ako mga pag-ampo nga, the more kami makaila deha kanimo, Gino, the more ang among kinabuhi, mausab, matransform, nga to sa imong pagkaikaw, pagkaisama deha kanimo. Haroon kami magalakaw deha sa imong pagkabalaan, bisan pa deha sa imong mga pulong. Dalaygon kamahan, We thank you for the help of your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, sa iyong pag-iya ka na mo. Kinintanan ang gikumitar diha ka ni mo. May you hear our prayers in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So ang ikaduha ng atong tanahon, mga kaigsunan, is the biblical proof of the tri-personality of God. In the Old Testament, adunay proof that there is only one supreme being And that there is one supreme being is clearly taught in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament. Nya-unya atong tanahon ang New Testament. But now, we will go to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. Nagingo ng pulong sa gino, sa verse 1. Now, this is the commandment, the statutes, and the judgment for the judgments which the Lord your God has commanded me to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you are going over to possess it, so that you and your son and your grandson might fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. O Israel, you should listen and be careful to do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you in a land flowing with milk and honey. Verse 4, 
Tanawa, ang gingon sa Bible. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. So verse 4, ang ginoon, nagpadayag sa iyang kagalingon, nga sa katawahan sa Israel, ningon siya, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. So kini siya nga, Declaration stoop in sharp contrast with the polytheistic societies that Israel was surround. Ang mga katauhan sa Israel nga nagpalibot diha kanila, ang mga tao nga nagsimba o mga Diyos-Diyos, ang mga Hittites, ang mga uh, Jebusites, Palestine, Tanan. <coughs> Kani sila nagsimba og mga dios dios but Moses declared that the Lord Jehovah is one Diya sa Isaiah chapter 44 6 to 8 dunay giingon ang pulong sa Ginoo that says the Lord the king of Israel and his redeemer the Lord of hosts I am the first and I am the last and there is no god besides me and who is like me, let him proclaim and declare it. Yes, let him recount it to me in order from the time that I established the ancient nation and let them declare to them the things that are coming and the events that are going to take place. Do not tremble and do not be afraid. Have I not long since announced it to you and declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? Or is there any other rap? Mas may ingon sa Diyos, I know of none. I know of none. So din higit challenge sa Gino ang nasod sa Israel to prove if there is any God like Him, like God. And God is not in fear that perhaps Israel might come up with someone like God. Mao kini ang challenge sa Diyos nga to sa nasod sa Israel kung makita ba sila o Dios nga sama diha kaniya wa ki makita nila nga Dios nga sama diha sa Dios nga mga gagahom ang Dios nga may nagbuhat diha sa mga langit ug sa yuta tungod kay ang Dios sa mga katauhan nga nagpalibot sa Israel mga nagsimba og mga Dios Dios ang ilang Dios binuhat man diha sa ilang mga kamot diha sa imahe diha sa unahuna sa tao nga ilang giukit diha sa bato ug bisan pa diha sa kahoy aron ilang simbahon nga diin kini nga Dios nga ilang gisimba Dios nga patay ug dili susama sa Dios sa Israel nga Dios nga buhi mo na ang Dios diha sa iyang kagalingon tungod kay ang Dios all knowing man iya yung gideklara nga wa gid na ilhan nga Dios nga sama diha kaniya there is only one true and the living God Isaiah chapter 45 Verses 4 to 7, naging on. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my chosen one, I have also called you by your name. I have given you a title of honor, though you have not known me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Mauginang isulti sa ginu. I am the Lord, and there is no other besides me. There is no God. I will gird you, though you have not known me that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. Verse 7, nagpadayo ng gino sa pagsulti, sa iyang kaugalingon, sa iyang pagpadayag, nga to sa katauhan sa Israel, mingon ang Diyos, the one forming light and creating darkness, causing well-being and creating calamity, I am the Lord who does all this. Daghay mga, daghay mga tao nga nagunhuna that there are two gods or two supreme beings. A good God that creates light and sends posterity and a bad God that creates darkness and sends calamity. Muna ilang yunaw na, nga doon ay Diyos diya sa kangit-ngit, doon ay Diyos diya sa kahayag. Pero ang Diyos, nag-ingon yun ang Diyos din he, that I am the Lord and there is no other, the one forming light and creating darkness, causing well-being and creating calamity. 
mo na ang Dios siya ra gyud ang Dios ug wa na gyud lain pa he alone is the supreme being there is none other he creates both light he creates darkness and sends both posterity and calamities mo na nga dili gyud nato itubang ang yawa ngadto sa Dios nga din ang Dios is the god of light ug ang yawa makabuhat mo siya sa iyang kaugalingon kung unsa iyang gustong buhaton kung dili gipakita sa Dios bisan pa diha sa bad times in evil times in evil days God is sovereign and all things in under his dominion and authority bisan pa ang trabaho sa yawa di gyud siya makabuhat niini kung dili ipahinugot sa Dios kung dili mag-serve sa purpose sa gino. Because God said in this word, sa iyong mga pulong, the one forming light and creating darkness, causing well-being and creating calamity. Muna nga ang Diyos, kinahanglan yun siya nga atong kahadlukan, simbahon, yukbuan, because kung Diyos magbuhat, nining ang mga butanga, we cannot question God. Di yun ta question diha sa gino because this is the act of God's freedom, the act of His sovereignty, that what God pleases, He will do. What God plans, He will accomplish. Isaiah chapter 45 verses 20 to 22 Ang Diyos Nagpaila sa iyang kagalingon nga wagi sama diha kaniya. Mingon siya sa Isaiah chapter 45:20 to 22. Gather yourselves and come, draw near together, you fugitives of the nations. They have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idol and pray to a god who cannot save. Kanin pagsimba og mga dios-dios. Labi na diha sa mga kahoy. Giukit nga larawan diha sa kahoy o gihimong statuwa ron simbahon nagingon ang Ginoo they have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idol and pray to a god who cannot save declare and set forth your case indeed let them consult together who has announced this from of old who has long since declared it is it not i the lord and there is no other god besides me a righteous God and a Savior, there is none except me. Turn to me and be saved all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Ipakita nini nga verse, mga kaingsunan, that only God can really help and save because there is but one true and living God. One supreme being, all other gods are not true God. Therefore, they cannot really save. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 10, Nagingon ang Diyos, pinagi kang propeta Isaiah, You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, in order that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am He. Before me, there was no God formed, and there will be none after me. There is no supreme being before God, and there will be no supreme being after God. He alone is God. Kani ato walay Dios nga naglungtad, ug wala po'y maglungtad human diha kaniya. Tungod kay ang Dios sa iyang kagalingon, diha na siya kani adto karon ug sa umaabot ang Dios. Siya gyud nagalungtad sa walay katapusan. Diha na gyud ang Dios nga daan ug siya nagapadayon sa iyang paglungtad ug walay lain nga Dios nga iyang nailhan na sabtan diha sa iyang pagkahibalo sa tanan nga mabutang nga sama diha kaniya and he alone is the god 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 4 to 5 si Pablo nagingon siya ngadto sa iglesia sa Corinto Therefore, concerning the eating of things sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no such thing as an idol in the world, or in the world rather, and that there is no God but one. 
For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords. So in contrast, at tumakita diri sa pagsimba sa mga pagano, o diha sa ilang beliefs, sa ilang pagto, that there are many gods and many lords. Mau ka na ang politiyism, no? Pero si Pablo yun, iyang ipahingusgan, nga mga kristohano nagtuo lamang diha sa usa ka Dios ug usa ka Ginoo monotheism kini gyud naga imply that the father and the son are one apan dili kina moy punto nato karon because the point is that Paul asserts that there is only one God diha sa Galatians chapter 3 verse 20 ato makita Gingon diha ni Pablo sa church usab ngadto sa Galatia Now a mediator is not for one party only where as God is only one Now dita mo adto sa labing complex ni ini no nga context nga gihatag ni Pablo nga din iyang gi prove that the old covenant that God made through the mediation of Moses did not really cancel out God's promise to Abraham. But notice again the clear assertion of Christianity, monotheism. Whereas God is only one. Sa Galatians chapter 3 verse 20. Sa 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 17, Gingundri, Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And again, this is repeated emphasis of the word of God, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 5, for there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Then he, grabe ka, klaro nga assertion of Christianity or Christianity's monotheism. Just as there is only one mediator between God and man, so also there is but only one God. Mona nga karon na tungtan aon that there are proofs in the scriptures that there is a plurality of persons in one supreme being. Nga diha sa pagka supreme being sa Dios, diha sa yung pagkausa at makita that there is a plurality of persons. However, the same Bible that teaches that there is only one supreme being is the same Bible that teaches that there is a plurality of persons, that one supreme being. And this is clear not just in the New Testament, but even also in the Old Testament. Ang Diyos nagpadayag diha sa iyang kaugalingon that there is only one God. Here, O Israel, the Lord is one nya to makitan nga kaning oneness sa Ginoo nagreveal sa iyang kaugalingon nga diin siya is plural Genesis chapter 1 26 and verse 27 Gingon sa iyang pagcreate sa tao the first man and woman nga iyang gibuhat Genesis chapter 1, 26 and verse 27, Gingon. Then God said, Let us make man in our image. Take note this word, let us. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Now note in the LXX or in the lexicon, ato makita that God is singular. And yet, when God speaks, He is more than just one person, us and our. Ang mga Jehovah's Witnesses, nag-ingon sila nga, din hidaw nga verse, ang Diyos nagasulting ato sa mga anghel. Pero kanigyod, 
weak nga assertion this is untenable kay gibuhat ba diay kita diha sa imahe sa mga anghel and our angels also our creators dili kana moy gisulti o gitudlo diha sa biblia for angels are not gods they are not creator and we are not created in the image of an angel mo nang adri at makitan in the old testament the one and only true god has revealed himself to have a plurality of persons and there is a plurality of persons in one god genesis chapter 3 22 to 24 sa so, diha nga si adan ug si iba sila nagrebelde sa pulong sa dios nagdisobey sa uh, bunga sa kahoy nga dili ipakaon sa Ginoo dito sa tanaman sa er sa Eden in the garden of Eden the tree of the knowledge of good and evil mao na nga sila gipahawa sa dios didto aron nga sila dili mabuhi nga makasasala magpadayon sa kinabuhi nga walay katapusan kung mukaon sila sa the tree of life nga ang ilang kinabuhi na diha sa sala for the wages of sin is death ug ang dios nagingon nga tunila kang adan ug diba for the day that you will eat from it you will surely die mo nang gibuhat sa Ginoo there is a genesis chapter 33 verse 22 to 24 mingon ang dios sa verse 22 then the lord god said behold the man has become like one of as kitsa may yang refer nini is he referring to angels or is he referring to himself nga ang dios dili lang kay usa but is a plural dia sa yang persons behold the man has become like one of us knowing good and evil and now lest, lest he stretch out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever verse 23 therefore the lord god sent him out from the garden of eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken so he drove the man out and at the east of the garden of eden he stationed the cherubim and the flaming sword which turned every direction to guard the way to the tree of life now take note that the lord god is again singular so verse 23 And yet when he speaks, he is more than just one person. So verse 22. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us. Mona nga, baliko na ko, nga ang Diyos, even in the Old Testament, klaro yun, nga nagpadayang sa iyang kaugalingon as having a plurality of persons. And this is represented in man as God's image sa so verse 26 of Genesis chapter 1 then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness mo ka nga ang Diyos usa at tumakita yes God is one and yet ang Diyos naglungtad diha in a plural persons Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Ito makita, no? That there is plurality in unity. Sama diha sa tao. Man is one and yet they are two. So Genesis chapter 2. 21 to 24 ang gihimo nga uh, wedding nga din ang Ginoo nag-institute niani sa man ug sa woman dito sa Garden of Eden nga sidiha nga sila na minyo na sila ni Adan ug ni Eva sila gihimong usa diha atubangan sa Dios Morning ingon sa Genesis chapter 2 21 to 24 so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept then he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place and the Lord God fashioned into a woman the rib which he had taken from the man and brought her to the man and the man said this is now my, this is now my bone or this is now bone of my bones 
and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. For this cause a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Monangingon sa Biblia. And the word one is the same. Nga pulong nga gigamit sa Dios sa iyang pagpadayag, sa iyang kagwalingon, nga sa katawhan sa Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Exodus chapter 3, 2 to 6. Exodus chapter 3, verses 2 to 6. Mao kini ang uh, encounter ni Moses nga to sa Dios. Nga din ang Dios uh, nagpakita, nagpadayag sa iyang kagalingon diha sa dagway sa usa ka anghel. Itawag kini sa mga theologians, Theophanes, ang pagpakita sa Ginoo diha sa lain nga dagway o diha sa lain nga purma. Exodus chapter 3 verses 2 to 6 ang gingon and the, and the angel of the Lord appeared to him na tukang Moses in a blazing fire from the midst of a bush and he looked and behold the bush was burning with fire yet the bush was not consumed so Moses said I must turn aside now and see this marvelous sight why the bush is not burned up verse 4 when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look Diba sa verse 1 na ito makita, the angel of the Lord, and then sa verse 4, when the Lord saw. So, dili lang kini kay Angel, kung dili, this is God na nagpadayag sa iyang kagalingon in other form, in a form of an angel, na din siya magpadayag sa iyang kagalingon, nga ito kang Moses, o kung unsay buhaton sa Diyos, nga ito sa mga katawahan sa Israelita, sa pagpahigawas kanila, gikan sa Egypto, ni parao aro si parao makaila diha sa Dios kung kinsa gyud ang Dios nga buhi o gamhanan mo na nga sa verse 4 gingon when the lord saw that he turned aside to look god called to him from the midst of the bush and said moses moses and he said here i am then he said do not come near here remove your sandals from your feet for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said also, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Nang pangutana din he, who is that appeared to Moses in the burning bush? Kinsa maning ah, nagpakita ni Moses ngadto sa burning bush? The angel or messenger of the Lord? one whom you can distinguish from God, and yet this messenger of the Lord speaks as God himself and claims to be himself God. Moreover, this messenger of the Lord even demands worshipful reverence from Moses. And this is someone mere holy angels will never do. Munang akinim pagpadayag sa Dios in other form, the theophanes of God, sa iyang pagpa kita padayag sa iyang kagalingon in other form, aron siya nga makigistorya diya sa tao. God demands worship from His creature. This is not uh, a mere angel, but this, this is God nga din nagpakita sa iyang kagalingon in a form of an angel. Kaya kung angel lang, at makita sa Revelation, nga bisan ang angel nga nagpadayag nga to kang John, dili mangani siya magpasimba. Iya ganing gitunlo si John nga simbaha ang Dios Ayaw kong simbaha because we are just a fellow uh, servant. Fellow servant of yours. Tanawa Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Yung context nini, ang, ang angel no? And he said to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who hold the testimony of Jesus. Sa sa angel, worship God. 
for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Muna nga, klaro yun, nga gi pasabot din he, is that there is a plurality of persons in the one true and living God. Nga, mas tinaw pag yun eh, or mas klaro pag yun kini, sa diha, nga, nag-progress ang scripture from Genesis to Revelation sa pagpadayag sa Diyos diya sa iyong kagalingon sa Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 19. Mokin ang panahon nga si Kristo na banhaw na o sa diha nga gihatag niya ang Great Commission na sa iyong mga disipulo. Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 19, gingon, And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, if you are a studious yud, yas pulong sa gino, and if you critically Uh, look at the word of God that's a verse 19 Mingon si Christ go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name dili plural but singular in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit note name Singular, not plural. And yet there are three persons who are mentioned. Kinsa man eh? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is one God, one supreme being, and yet there is a plurality of persons in this one true and living God. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14 Mingo ng scripture, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mona nga diha sa closing benediction ni Pablo, he invokes each person of the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So again, there is a plurality of persons in this one supreme being. Now that these three persons in the one supreme being are distinct sa ilang persons is absolutely clear in the scriptures. Distinct. Ang Father, ang Son, o ang Holy Spirit, they are one God, pero diha sa ilang persona, magkalahi sila. The Father is not the Son, or the, nor the Son is not the Father, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, nor the Holy Spirit is the Son nor the Father, kundi li ang Diyos usa diha sa iyang kagalingon, naglungta diha sa tulo ka persona, and they are distinct in persons. Tanawa ang Luke chapter 12 verse 10. Luke chapter 12 verse 10. Giyundri, and everyone who will speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. So, diligid mo ni masabtan ang pulong sa gino if you will not embrace these whole teachings of the scriptures. Kaya kung ang imo rang i-embrace one part of the scripture or the teachings of men, muna nga, kuyaw yun kayo. Nga bisa ng balaan nga espiritu imong pasipalaan. Nga mo yung ka nga, aduna rin yung usa ka Diyos, o ka na nga Diyos, mahorag yun si Jehovah, o mahorag yun si Yahweh. Ug si Kristo, tao lamang, o salamang ka propeta, o gang Holy Spirit, o salamang ka gahom, o dili persona, igsoon, klaro diha sa Biblia, nagaingon, but he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. Ipakita diha nga ang Son is not the same person as the Holy Spirit because they are distinct in person. In John chapter 5, verse 30, we can read, Ingon si Christ, I can do nothing on my own initiative as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will but the will of Him. So ang context ni ini, nag-refer nga to sa Diyos nga mahan nga nagpadala, diha kang Kristo, but the will of Him who sent me. 
Muna nga gipakita diri is that the Father is not the Son. They are distinct in person. John chapter 14, 16 to 17, ang prayer ni Christ nga sa amahan nga ipadala ang balaan nga Holy Spirit or ang balaan nga Espiritu, rather, to be the vicar of Christ sa diha nga si Kristo, mabanhaw na gikan sa kamatayon. Gingundri, John 14, 16 to 17, and I will ask, ang Greek diri nga gigamit, Ang word nga as is the word irutaw. It is a king asking to another king who is in equal authority. In contrast ni sa verse 14 nga ay teyo. Ang pag as sa inferior nga to sa superior. Kita na nga mga tao nga mga yung tabang sa Dios Pero si Kristo because he is the son of God, the God who became flesh. Ang iyang pagpangayo nga to sa Dios nga mahan dili kay inferior siya kung dili si Kristo is anak sa Dios o ang iyang pag-anak sa Dios dili pariha nato nga inferior ngadto sa atong magbubuhat kung dili ang iyang pag-anak is unique because of the great of their great intimacy it speaks of their relationship sa Dios diha sa ilang kaugalingon even in eternity past and i will ask lingon siya and i will ask the father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever that is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not behold him or know him but you know him because he abides with you and will be in you. Now, diri nga text gipakita na ang Father, na ang Son, na ang Holy Spirit, and these three are one, and this one are three. So clear from this is that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are distinct persons. There had been too much speculations and philosophizing philosophizing about this teaching of God's being and that has led to so much confusion. Pero kung ato lang yung dawaton ang revelation sa Dios sa iyang kagalingon diha sa Biblia, wala kay malisod sa pagsabot ni ini. Nganong lisod man tungod kay atong i-exert ang atong gusto diha sa Biblia. Imbis ang scripture may magsulti sa iyang kagalingon, exegesis, kita may gusto kung unsay ipasulti dia sa Biblia. Nya kana di yun na siya makapahimaya sa Dios. Mao na nga kini yun. at tumakita nga ang Kristohanon kanunay gyud siya nga nagmadaugon sa diha nga ang Kristohanon magpaubos, magpailalom kung unsa ang klaro nga gitudlo diha sa kasulatan. Nga diha nagahatod yun sa mga Kristohanon sa panahon sa unang siglo, din ilang gisalikway ang mga sayup ng mga pagtulunan ang mga hirisis may tungod sa pagkadiyos sa gino. For of the being of God. Besides the Bible, ang Biblia ragyod, may naghatag ka na to o klaro nga hulagway or picture of this mysterious reality in the crown of God's creation. So Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 27, ang gingon sa Diyos, then, get, then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And God created man in his own image in the image of God, He created him. Male and female, He created them. Mona nga, ang tao as God's image is a plurality in unity and this represents to us what God is like. Plurality in unity. Mona nga, ito nang i-considerar no, ang biblical concept and the biblical proof. And now, let us consider the practical relevance of the tri-personality of God. Unsa may relevance niya ni? Unsa may application niya ni sa atong kinabuhi? 
kini siyang biblical teaching nag-indicate that just as God is a social being, so kita usab nga mga tao is essentially a social being. Although there is only one true and living God, and yet this one God has a trinity of persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and from all eternity, at tumakita that they enjoyed fellowship with one another. And that is very clear in John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Sa sinugdan, diha na ang pulong, o ang pulong kauban sa Diyos. O ang pulong Diyos. And this Word, who is God? So John chapter 1 verse 14, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And since man is created as the image and likeness of God, we too are social beings. Our lives are dysfunctional unless we are able to relate with other people. And this biblical teaching indicates that we are to give due reverence and worship to all the persons of the one and only God. It is not only right no, to worship the Father, but also the Son, the Lord Jesus. Moreover, it is not only right to worship the Father and the Son, but also the Holy Spirit. For the three are one, and the three, and the one is three. And that is what we find in the scripture, so Luke chapter 24, verse 51. And it came about that while he was blessing them, see Christ, he parted from them and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising God. In fact, the Bible even teaches that if you do not honor the Son in the same way, you worship the Father, then you do not really honor the Father. Mona nga sa atong pagsimba diha sa Dios. We worship God in the person of Christ Jesus. Tungod kay si Kristo, nag-ingon yun sa iyang mga disipulo, umaw ka ninyang pagtunlo, nato kanila, bisang panganato, sa John chapter 5, 22 to 23, mingon siya, For not even the Father judges anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, in order that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son, does not honor the Father who sent Him. Nga nung gisulti man ni Kristo, tungod kay ang mga tao, they rejected Christ as being the promised Messiah, the promised Savior, the Christ who is the great I Am, the Christ who existed before Abraham, and the Christ who is the Savior of the world, because for them, Christ is just a man, for them, Christ is just a prophet, but Christ actually is the Son of God. Yung mao ka na ang pagpaila. Bisang pa diha sa Gospels, nga diin si Kristo yun, anak sa Diyos. Siya Diyos nga nahimong tao, aron ang honor diha sa Father, He must honor the Son. In order that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father who sent, he, who's, he who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Now, what is true of the Son is also true of the Holy Spirit. Monanga, there is a sense in which we come to the Father through the Son and by the enabling of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18, For through Him, Christ, we both, Jews and Gentiles, have our access in one Spirit. To the Father. Mauna nga dili na to i-interpret kini nga sa pagpasabot that only the Father is to be worshipped and not the Son and the Holy Spirit. So kini biblical teaching nagpakita that those who believe and worship a God who is not one and with a plurality of person is guilty of idolatry. Kung dili gani ni mo ni i-grasp nga truth mga kaigsunan as God revealed in the scriptures that God is one and yet existed in three persons God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit and if you don't worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
you are guilty of idolatry. And what is the essence of idolatry? It is to reject what God has revealed concerning himself and replace it with the personal ideas of what God is like and then worships them. Maunang gingon sa Romans chapter 1 verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness, unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which is known about God is evident within them, for God made it evident to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. For even though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their speculations. And their foolish heart was darkened, professing to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the incorruptible God for an image in the form of corruptible men, and of birds, and of four-footed animals, and crawling creatures. And it does not matter whether one actually makes an idol or not to embody their own ideas of what God is like, but not to reject what God has revealed about himself and replace it their own ideas of what is what God is like is already adultery. Monang ang Dios diha sa special nga revelation pagpadayag sa Dios diha sa pinasahi nga paagi mao kining Biblia in special revelation has always revealed himself as the triune God, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Di pa man klaro in the Old Testament, no na, incipient pa in the Old Testament, Old Testament, but kinigyod, iyag yung gipaklaro in the New Testament. Musa, to reject this special revelation of God concerning himself is to be guilty of idolatry. To be guilty of idolatry. And this is true of the Mormons who are polytheists. This is true also of the modalists, mga wanes. This is also true to the Muslims who believe that Allah is God and rejected Christ being the Son of God. And this is true of the Jehovah's Witness who deny also the deity of our Lord. Jesus Christ. Mao nang importante yun kanimo nga makaila ka diha ni Kristo as the Son of God. Tungod kay ang pagpadayag sa Dios sa iyang kaugalingon, mailhan lamang nimo diha ni Kristo pinagi sa iyang grasya ug sa iyang kaluoy pinagi sa tabang sa balaan nga espiritu. Mao nang igsoon ako kang gihangyo giawhag nga tuuhi si Kristo. Nga din siya Diyos nga nahimong tao. Nga din siya namatay dito sa cross sa Kalbaryo. Aron sa pag-ula, sa iyang dugo, sa kapasailuan, sa mga tao. Nga mga makasala, nga gipili sa Diyos even before the foundation of the world. Aron nga maluwas pinagi sa iyang kamatayon o magkinabuhi dia sa kinabuhi. Nga gusto sa Diyos, balaan nga kinabuhi. Aron kita makasulo diha sa iyang gingharian not on the basis of our meritorious works or good works, kundi diha ni Kristo sa iyang finished work na iyang ibuhat dito sa cross sa Kalbari. If God is one, and then Christ is not God, and the Holy Spirit is not God, then who is your Savior? Then who is your mediator? Then who is your high priest? Then who is your living hope. Muna ang Diyos sa pagpadayag niya sa iyang kagalingon, ang Diyos, dili siya nag-inusara na siya lamang kung dili God is one and yet God existed in three persons. Sa diha nga iyang ikasal si Adan o si Iba dito sa Garden of Eden, the Lord said to the man and to the woman, the two shall become one flesh. And the word one there is the word ikad. One and yet 
plural. Two and yet one. The same is true. Diha sa Dios, Ang Dios naglungtad. Diha sa usah kabiing. Apan diha sa iyang persona. Naglungtad ang Dios, Diha sa tulo. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Dili yun nimo ni masabtan igsoon kung wa ang tabang sa balang espiritu o kung dili ni mo embrace ang kinatibukan ng pagtudlo diha sa Biblia. Tungod kay ang Biblia nagaingon sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. The God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelieving so that they may not see the glory of God in the image of Christ Jesus. Mauna nga, mga ayaw yung tagtabang yung soon. Nga diin, kita makaila diha sa Diyos na may atong magbubuhat. Bisang pa diha sa atong manuluwas. Bisang pa diha sa balang espiritu na maugyod ang puli ni Kristo ni ining kaliputan. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you ni ining pagtoon sa iyong mga pulong. We pray, Lord, nga Imo kaming tabangan nga motubo diha sa pagkaila diha kanimo bisan pa diha sa imong uh, persona diha sa imong pagkaikaw nga dili kami malipat sa mga pagtulunan sa mga tawo nga wa nakaila diha kanimo pagtulunan nga minugna sa unahuna ug sa kasing-kasing sa tawo nga kurap ug malimbungon tabangi mo kami Ginoo that we will embrace to the teachings of the scriptures to the teachings of you, God, as you have revealed yourself in us in a special way, diha sa kasulatan. And Lord, we pray that may you imprint your word into our hearts. Arong dili kami madala gino sa strange doctrines nga din sila nagpaila sa ilang kagalingon nga mayon sakto apan kinigino, nagasupak yun diha sa mga pulong bisang pang ilang kinabuhi. Wag yun na kumpurma diha sa yung pagkabalaan tungod kay kini. Wa man gi bago ni Kristo. Wa man gi regenerate ang ilang kasing-kasing sa imong balaan ni Espiritu. Busa kami nagapasalamat sa imong grasya na imong kaming gitagaan ini nga kahibalo sa imong mga pulong. aron kami magasimba di kanimo sa mahan sa anak o sa Espiritu throughout eternity. And Lord, we thank you for all these things. May your name be continually be glorified. Ini pagtuon sa mga pulong. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tagang salamat, Igson, sa inyong pag-uban, kanako. And I hope to see you next week sa padayan na itong pagtuon sa pulong sa Gino. Ang Gino, magkapanalangin ka na to, And God bless us all. The Lord is not our equal. He doesn't need the help of men Who could ever give Him counsel who could ever stop his sovereign plan? The men may boast of wisdom and be filled with pride within. Who is bold enough to answer when his maker comes to question him? The rulers rise against him. The king of heaven laughs. He rebukes them in his anger. And terrifies them in his wrath He punishes the wicked Pours judgment out on sin Yet this champion of justice Is a savior if you call on him And we call on the name Of the Holy Sovereign Lord The King of all our God 
eyes are flames of fire And his face is like the sun He's the Alpha and Omega The one who was and is to come Oh, we call on the name Of the Holy Sovereign Lord The King of all the earth And we hope in the power Of his awesome Awesome.